We need to be teaching that to our children. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to sheltering your children, we do need to shelter them, as I mentioned earlier, to keep them from the evil. And one of the biggest evils, I believe, in our day is the internet. Yep. Now, I don't, not, that's not to say the internet in itself is just pure evil. We use the internet. We use, we're using the internet right now. Okay, we're streaming this sermon live onto Facebook. The internet itself is just a tool, but the problem is that it's a, it's a door that opens up to all kinds of wickedness. And this is an area where when you're not on guard, there are people lying in wait to deceive. There are people that, that you know, Unlike any other time in history, I mean, think, think about this for a second. Now, think about how ridiculous this would be. You say, I don't want to shelter my children, so are you going to bring your six-year-old down to the strip club, down to the bars, down to all these places that you would never want them even thinking about going into? It's ridiculous. Well, you know what? With the internet, it's a click away. Yeah. And way worse. Right. I mean, it used to be the, air, you know, the things that you can find on the internet these days, most people would never even knew existed or how to find them or how to stumble upon them in real life where people are actually doing this type of stuff. Nowadays, it's a click away before the worst type of filth imaginable can just be brought up right in front of your eyes to just feast your eyes on that. Not only is the, the, the weird deviant sexual immorality and stuff that that's what's being pumped the most that's what's most common the pornography and all the garbage and nonsense on on there but not only that you have all kinds of people spewing all kinds of of various false doctrines and philosophies of men that are also going to be dangerous look as as parents you need to be helping to mold your children one, to think critically, and that's extremely important, but to show them and teach them the Word of God. God's Word is, is without fail, and there are people that are always trying to shake our faith in God's Word. The devil's always attacking, and there is plenty of that available online. And see, the problem with the Internet is that you don't know who you're talking to. You don't know what you're, where the source is that you're reading from. You could be reading something completely made up and have no idea that it's made up. It's just found it online. It looks reputable, but how do you know that? Right. How do you know what you're reading is true? How do you know it makes sense? Who is the person that's writing all this stuff? Would you really want to get... Now, think about this for a second. Would you really want to get all of your great wisdom and understanding and philosophies and the way that you can see the world from, say, someone who's just a serial pedophile? This is how they live their life. This is what they do. This is what's going on inside their mind and inside their heart. But they're writing all of these you know, profound blogs or whatever. right? Is that, is that where you want to get your information from? Is that where you want to get your teaching from on, on your philosophies and life and, and how things really are? I mean, you can look at the fruit of the people who are, who are putting this up. And online, you can't do that. You have no way of knowing. And that's why, again, you know, <clears throat> I'm not saying you can never read anything from anybody or that challenges your faith. But with children, they need to get the foundation. They need to be taught the Word of God. That way you can test what you're, see what you're reading, what, you know, the, the different types of information that you can receive. And as parents, you better be dead sure you know where your children are going online. Yeah. It is, it, is, it is way worse than just letting them loose in the Wild West. I mean, I would never dream of just dropping my children off. Just go do whatever you want. Just go to the city. And just we'll go down to Phoenix and just, okay, kids, go have fun. Go, go see what you can get yourself into. Have a good time. As you've got thieves, as you've got wickedness, as you've got all kinds of just the elements out there. Well, at the same time, I'm not going to let them go just run free online either. Right. We need to be diligent to make sure you know what's, what's being, trying to be crammed down your child's throat or what, what, what they're being influenced with on the internet. You 